Hey y'all. So I wanted to record my video tip today. And my video tip for today is to make sure or find a way to make your setting connect to your characters. When you're describing your setting, don't just describe it. Don't just say a red couch and hardwood floors and white walls. Make it connect some kind of way to your character. So I'm going to read a small part from my book, Double Down and Dirty, so you can see what I'm talking about. Walking into her new place was like stepping into the vision she carried ever since she dreamed of moving to New York. It was extravagant compared to the quiet, tree-lined streets of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. In her condo, dark, shiny wood floors against the white walls gave off a rich yet cozy feel. Theodore would be impressed by the space, but would probably cringe at the crimson living room set and her color scheme of red, orange, and a splash of yellow here and there. She loved bright spaces, and if she had to guess, she'd say her sperm donor was the exact opposite. So, as you can see, not only did I describe Jay's condo, but I'm also showing how the connection i'm also showing how jade is opposite from her dad um and i'm showing how it's something she's always dreamed of and how it's so different from how she grew up and where she grew up so it's not just that i'm showing i'm describing her space but it's meaningful it's also get letting you know a little more about jade and the relationship she has with her dad or none thereof so that's what I mean when I say find a way. If you are describing the mantle, maybe put something on the mantle that brings back memories for your character. You know, make it, whatever you're describing, make it connect so that we all know a little more about your character as we are reading. So that's my tip for today. Make your setting connect with your character. Have a great day. Bye, y'all.